concentrate on the northern cliff tomorrow. The ground there is hard, so be careful when you dig. Yes, sir. Doctor! Dr. Masuda! What is it? Did you find something? Yeah. We followed the corridor from the lakeside. It matches the location described in the that research must be paper. It. Good. Show us where it is. It's different from the others. I knew it! It's over there.
startup experiment. Open up an interconnection. Roger. Opening interconnection. Connecting with dummy protocol. A-line protocol zone secured. Opening cage partition. 60 seconds to release. Beginning countdown. 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. appearing in the temporal lobe. What's the problem? It's on the left side of the temporal lobe. I'm showing slight stimulation of the synapses in section 818. It's within permissible bounds, though. Do you want to abort? No. Let's keep going. Just stick to the menu. I'll try for a direct approach. Back me up. Roger. Launching Nataraja connection system. Password accepted. Commencing Nataraja boot up sequence. problem with the visual field connection. Hmm. Ah, I see a small break in the MT field, route K12. It looks like the bi-directional link in the V4 field is lagged too. Hold on a minute. I'll fix it now. How is it now, Chief? Okay. Looks good. Let's keep going. Roger. Proceeding with Cosmos host separation. Good morning, Cosmos. How do you feel? Good morning, Xi'an. All systems are normal. Well, how about introducing yourself? I am an anti-gnosis humanoid fighting system, serial number 00000000001. Development name, KPX. Abbreviated name, Cosmos. As I am currently configured for simulated battle, my output is limited to 22% of its normal capacity. My estimated weapon specifications are... All right, that's good enough. Thanks. You are welcome. All I have for you today are the usual startup tests. Sorry to wake you up just for that. You'll have to go back to sleep once everything's checked out. I see. Do you feel sad or anything? 
A predetermined set of emotions has been hard-coded into my emotion module to better facilitate interactions with humans. In order to better facilitate a relationship with you, Chief Engineer Shion Uzuki of the Cosmos Project, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division, I will emit an expression such as sadness only when that response is deemed necessary. However, the emotion module of my program has determined that this is not necessary at this time. <laughs> I guess you're right. I, of all people, should know that. Your understanding is appreciated. But you know, Cosmos, I've got mixed feelings about all this. Of course, I'm happy that you're awake, but the fact that you'll go back to sleep makes me a bit sad. On the other hand, the next time you wake up, it may be a time of much bloodshed. So deep down inside, I hope that day never comes. Understand? The algorithms I have been programmed with do not support the comprehension of illogical human thought. Well, I hope you'll be able to understand someday. I will do my best. All right, Cosmos, shall we get started? Alan, let's pick up from process 277 where we last left off. Roger. Placing target drones in the encephalon. The drones are set to random movement and enemy ambush. How about a test run before the mission, Chief? Mm. Sure, let's do that. Did you get that, Cosmos? Affirmative. Processes to 300 cleared. Chief, the data transfer is going smoothly. The A line protocol is looking good. It sure is. The response levels are really good. If we can maintain these levels, we'll have some great results soon. Yeah. Chief? Hey, Alan. Let's skip all 300 level processes, and start from 400. Huh? 400? Chief, but that's... I feel pretty confident this time. But, Chief... Remember what happened last time? Had we waited 10 more seconds to intervene, we wouldn't have been able to get you back at all. Can't we at least test it out in objective mode? You know we can't get precise data that way. I'll be fine. If something happens, I'll get myself out. Besides, you want to test it out as well, don't you? We spent all night building the native A-line protocol. 
Well, yeah, but... That settles it. Let's get started. All right, then. But if anything happens, I'm gonna shut it down from here. So don't press your luck. All right, all right. And don't deviate from the program. Okay, Mom. Jeez, this is so typical of her. Will she ever stop to think about the hell I go through for her? You know, sir, the way you worry about Chief Uzuki all the time. I'm surprised you haven't keeled over already. Hey, that's enough. Is the 400 level program ready to go? We're ready to go anytime. Then start up the program. I want detailed reports from every monitoring station. Any abnormalities, and I'm shutting down immediately. see anything unusual. All systems are stable. It's looking good. This ought to make up for last month. I sure hope so. Cosmos has reached the checkpoint. Entering process 431. Replacing targets with Type-G drones. Commencing display. Here we go. What's going on? A brand new network is being created within the Cosmos mainframe. We've never had a reaction like this before. This is incredible. I've never seen a net grow so fast. Look at it, sir. Portions of the Encephalon map are evolving. What the? Alan, I'm going to engage the target. Make sure you capture all the data. What? You cannot engage right now. You're tapped into Cosmos Perception. It's too unstable. Don't worry. We can pull it off. What do you mean, don't worry? Chief? Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. So far, so good. Shift target to real mode. We'll test the Hilbert effect. What? Chief, you're supposed to follow the program. Cosmos, activate Hilbert. Roger. Activating Hilbert effect. I knew this would happen! Status! This is bad. Something's wrong in the encephalon. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. What? What about the Chief? 
Chief, you're in danger. Get out of there now. Hold on. Just a little longer. Chief! Nerve impulse is in the limbic system. We've got Kinley. That's enough. Shut it down. Pull her out of there now. Roger. Entering shutdown command. It's been rejected. The Chief's overriding us. We can't control it from here. What? Ten seconds to encephalon collapse. Sir! Damn it! Are you... all right? Uh, yeah. Thanks. Did I push my luck a little too far this time? Huh. Alan? You can't... keep doing this, Chief. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Sorry about that, but I bet the data's really good. Besides... Was there something else? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Well, we better get started on that data. Today's our deadline, so I'm sure they'll be asking for it soon. Attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out in approximately three minutes. All hands, please return to your designated areas immediately. Once again, attention, please. We are scheduled to gate out. All ships, gate out complete. Shifting main engine to stealth mode. Maintaining current speed until sector withdrawal. Exit from current space set at absolute time, 1300 on the 22nd. Seven hours, 16 minutes, and 30 seconds to withdrawal. Next UMN column in seven hours, 36 minutes. All gate jumps from other sectors will remain offline until then. So, we're almost home. Yes, sir. Our final gate jump is at the next column. We're almost there. We made it this far, we'll be fine. The odds of contact between columns is statistically low. Besides, 
This asteroid field we're in is perfect for hiding the fleet from them. Huh. So Pollyanna thinks those asteroids are going to protect us. I... I'm sorry, sir. A bit testy today, aren't we, Commander? Huh? Is something wrong? No. Of course not. Ever since we picked up that object ten days ago, everyone's been a bit jumpy. And we still have a ways to go before we hit comm space. I can empathize with the Commander. Mm. Uh, Captain? Can you, uh, debrief us on the current situation? Our original orders from the Galaxy Federation were to investigate the vanished planet and assist the researchers. But ever since we picked up that object, it feels like everything's changed. What exactly is that thing anyway? Who knows? I haven't heard a thing from the research team. But, as I mentioned before, apparently they're after the object too. That's unofficial info, of course. What about the rumor regarding the casualties during the retrieval process? Even if it were true, that's none of our business. The research team has their own orders to deal with. The only explicit instructions we've received state that should any salvageable objects exist in the area, their retrieval takes top priority. Top priority? What does that mean? What it means is, over our very lives, Now, now, no need to scare them. Those orders merely reflect the importance of this operation to the Galaxy Federation government, that's all. Just stay sharp and be careful. That makes sense, sir. The entire fleet was renovated for this mission. Besides, if there's an emergency, we've got the trump card to fall back on. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, speaking of which, what's the latest on that situation? They're scheduled to turn in the A7 reports today. A7, eh? Only one step away from fully operational. It's about time, I suppose. Lieutenant, please ask Chief Uzuki to come to the bridge once her data's ready. Ask her to bring all the previous data as well. Yes, sir. What trump card? Was he referring to that battle android? That's right. You didn't know? Wow, so it's true. Hey, I heard that project's really behind schedule. You can't blame them. There were casualties during their last boot-up test two years ago. They're being more careful this time. It's hard to believe they're making an android in this day and age. The only place I've ever seen them is in old space novels. Well, Trump card or not, it's still an experiment. And it ain't like one android's gonna make that much of a difference. The whole project's just a chance for those Vector guys to show off. Someone's outdated hobby, that's all. I heard that even their commercial models differ greatly between those that have seen action and those that haven't. They say ignorance is bliss. Looks like they were right. Commander? I'm just envious, that's all. Sure. I'll be there in 30 minutes. They certainly didn't waste any time. See? I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki, here's the data you requested. Will that be all? Thanks. This should be good enough. I'll take care of the rest. Um, Chief, do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? Well, I must admit, you got me there. But honestly, if it were up to me, I'd keep her here, safe in her dream world, forever. But 
why are you so afraid to put her to real work when you push her so hard in the simulations? I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. Couldn't you at least try taking her up to phase three? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase three in a simulated battle config? Come on. We're not about to wake our little princess for that. Here's a summary of Cosmos' main equipment from the second division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. All right. See you later. Okay, good luck! Uh... <clears throat> well, back to work. She's really got you trained, hasn't she, sir? What? Train? What do you mean? Hey, what are you smiling at? Hurry up and get back to work. I'm on it. See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. I swear. Huh? What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no. It's not that. It's just... I know how you feel, but you saw what happened just now. Even the Chief is cautious sometimes. Besides... Oh, that's right. You just transferred in a month ago, right? I guess you couldn't have known. You mean the accident from two years ago? I've heard about it, but I don't know any details. the two of you can be alone. Why don't you ask her out while you're at it? We can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance. I told you guys, it's not like that. I'm crying out loud. Anyway, I'd better get this to her. Good luck! Yeah. Go, Tiger! Jeez, they just don't know when to quit. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. Sorry, you've got time to get your ass in gear. If you've got time to think, you've got time to get your fingers moving. Don't even start thinking you've got a brain to think with. You're gonna become machines and work like them day and night. You're all a bunch of slackers. Boy, I guess not every department's run like ours. still here, huh? Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. How are you? I had to get this data done before morning, so I... 
Well, what are you doing here so late, Kevin? You'd better get some sleep. We've got an early morning ahead. Here, this is for you. Huh? Oh, thank you. To tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. Something's been on my mind. On your mind? Tomorrow she's finally going to wake up. I'm looking forward to seeing her come to life, but... I have no idea what to say to her when she wakes up. It's been bothering me. I'm just being weird, huh? Why don't you just say, good morning, Cosmos? Good, good morning? Well, that's what you say to someone when they wake up, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks. I think I can finally get some sleep now. Glad to help, sir. You should get some rest, too. All right. Well, good night. Good night. Yeah. Everybody's so eager to see her. Look out! Watch it, you slacker! Only authorized personnel are allowed up here. I've had three people vanish on me already. Get the hell out of here! My men will start slacking off if they see bimbos like you around. I'm so sorry. Who's the idiot that left civilians on this ship? What the hell are you staring at? Oh. Damn slacker! Chief! 
Chief! Hmm? Alan? What do you mean, Alan? Don't act so surprised. Didn't you forget something important? You know, it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Are you all right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So, you don't need to thank me. But, it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... Chief, the incident, right? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry, that's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh, who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. See ya. Oh. Ugh. I forgot to ask her out after work. My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy, too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Let's see. Well, I've made some adjustments, but please contact 3rd Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Besides, I always wanted to work in the 3rd Division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want a transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the 1st Division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows, maybe they're right. Besides, I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil.
their stench. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you... <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the Lieutenant Commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the eggs and the new model Realians. And yet your... Support? Huh. In a battle against them? The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested, weapons-grade Realians. Um... Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Realians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. You guys have an emergency override code to control them, don't you? <sighs> Virgil! Why are you... Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now. And this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Is he... a DME addict? My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. He wasn't always like that, but then something happened. Is he an old acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So, that's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to Second Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake, and theirs as well. Oh no! I forgot I had to report to the bridge! <sighs> Sorry, I'll come back to check on them later. Bye! I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? 
Well, it's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? Think about that for a moment. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have AIGS units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you- Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing. Don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we- Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzuki. Let me know if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. The problem is that those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. <laughs> because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be... them? I told you made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but... Take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. 
Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You could at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. Uh, how many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old senile and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. About me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't. All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. Good night. Mm-hmm. 